Hello and welcome to KnowledgeBank.pro. The topic of today's video is a review of a custom visual. And the custom visual of today is the ultimate waterfall. If you're new to the series, let me give you a quick reminder and a background of what we're trying to do. The whole journey started with this waterfall chart where I wanted to change the default behavior of waterfall chart in Power BI, uh, where I wanted to be able to display the beginning and ending value in our waterfall. Uh, as you know, by default, a Power BI waterfall chart does not provide that functionality. So I had to do some DEX wizardry to make it work the way I want it to work. And here's the final result of that exercise. I was able to use DEX to make the default Power BI chart display the waterfall as I intended it to work. I will post the link to all the videos that I mentioned uh, in this review, in the description of this video, so you can go, go ahead and catch up uh, if you would like. After I completed my uh, video on how to create a waterfall chart using the regular Power BI visual, I decided to go ahead and review all of the waterfall charts available in the Power BI App Store. And uh, I already did a video on the simple waterfall chart. And simple waterfall chart ran circles around the default waterfall chart. And if I had my choice, I would use the simple waterfall chart over the default Power BI waterfall chart every single time, provided this company does not go out of business and does not remove its support for its custom visuals, uh, like some other company did a few weeks ago. As you can see, I was able to successfully implement the waterfall chart um, to tell the story that I'm trying to tell and that I had told using the prior two visuals using the ultimate waterfall chart. However, my experience was less than optimal. Right off the bat, you see all this uh, data views background uh, on the chart. I haven't tried to publish this chart into the service, but my assumption is that this background will remain. This is a free version of the chart, and um, I assume you have to buy the full version in order to get rid of all this uh, background. I assume that you acquire this chart at the dataviz.boutique website. And I'm looking at the prices. I'm not sure what that two credits, five credit, 10 credit, what that means. Is it a uh, number of users? Um, um, I was having a hard time figuring this stuff out. Granted, uh, I can't say that I gave it my best. Uh, it just didn't seem to be super intuitive for me to understand what's happening with all these prices and credits. But I'm sure if uh, you guys wanted to get it and did a little bit more homework, you could probably figure that out. The next thing that I recommend you guys do is you check out the documentation for the chart. So the very top of the page is a picture of uh, some sort of waterfall. And then uh, there is a list of all the f some of the features that the chart supports. And then lastly, there is a video that video was mildly interesting. The first one, I haven't had, I just noticed that there is two. Haven't had a chance to listen to the second one, but the first one was uh, a one minute long and um, showed some of the very basic functionality of the chart. But uh, there's so much to this chart that this video doesn't really help uh, at all. Anyway, let's take a look in, at the chart itself and see what I had to do to make it work. So the first thing that I had to do was to figure out what goes where. So as you can see, we have a lot of options here in the setup, and we have even more options as you look into the formatting options. So this chart, the ultimate probably makes sense. There is a lot of options. The challenge is figuring out what those options do and how to use them. One of the criteria that I'm using in evaluating this is how easy it is for me to use without do much, doing too much homework. Again, I'm sure that this chart is very sophisticated, and if you had a day to spend to learn everything you can learn about this chart, you could do really cool things. The problem is I'm not trying to do super cool things. I'm just trying to ba build a very basic waterfall chart for my CFO, and I don't want to spend too much time doing it. So I figured out that uh, I need to take my breakdowns. So basically breakdown is everything that uh, goes into my bridge. So in this case we have, so uh, I will be calling it begin value, end value, and the breakdown. So the breakdown, I have a table that 
implements all the stuff. So I dragged it into the category and then I had to uh, pull in my value that calculates the variance for each of these categories that went into the values column. Then I had to figure out how to do the start and end values. And the setup, we have a, uh, a placeholder for starting values. So I dragged a variable with revenue last year, because I'm trying to bridge last year to this year. So re revenue last year went into the starting values. Then uh, I started to try to figure out where does the end value goes. So there is a column here, there is a bucket here that says last values. So I went ahead and dragged my revenue this year into the last values. And it kind of worked, but it gave me this reference three bucket here, and I could not figure out how to make it disappear. So I was playing around with this, trying this and that, and after a while I dragged that into the reference one. And if you drag it into reference one, that thing goes haywire. Doesn't make any sense. Again, I'm sure it makes perfect sense if you spend time learning it. I'm just trying to cowboy this thing and try to figure it out as quickly as possible. So then I'm gonna drag, I drag it into the reference two, which actually is not very intuitive why one didn't work but two worked, but bam, it worked. That's all I care about. What does table value do? Not sure. Uh, tool tips, I wanna mouse over and see some values. Doesn't seem to be working for me. Not sure it's, if it's a limitation of the free version or a bug in the visual. So uh, I cannot get the tool tips to work. Then we have a bunch of other buckets for first value, last value, second, last value, sign. Again, if I wanna build a waterfall chart on steroids, I'm sure you, you could do some cool things with this. If you're trying to do a simple one, uh, this is an overkill. So you gotta be very careful when you're evaluating whether you wanna spend um, whatever that was, 1600 bucks or thousand dollars or euros on this thing. You gotta be very careful whether you need all the bells and whistles. If you do, uh, I see bells and whistles in this that I don't see in the other two charts that I have reviewed. If you don't, this thing is probably an overkill. So if the setup seems complicated enough, let's take a look at the formatting options. And you could see that in formatting options, there is a plethora of options. And my best definition of plethora is almost too much tons of options. Uh, I don't need any of this stuff to just to do a, build, a simple waterfall chart, but if you wanna build an ultimate waterfall chart, maybe you need all these options, I don't know. If you have a super sophisticated audience, all this stuff probably makes sense. The audience that I see 99 times out of 100, they have a hard time with all the super cool bells and whistles and super duper stuff. So keep it simple, stupid is my motto. And um, so if I wanna to keep it simple, then with all these options, it's a little bit difficult. Luckily. So in order to save time, I think you guys are getting the drift. This is a very powerful visual. It can do a lot of things, uh, but for an easy waterfall chart, it's definitely an overkill. Would I pay thousand euros on this chart? I would only do it if I absolutely had to. You know what the real problem is? This visual does not inspire me to put the work in. It just doesn't. At the end of the day, if I had three options, Power BI default, simple waterfall chart, or ultimate waterfall chart, I would pick simple waterfall chart every single time. I would only pick ultimate waterfall if I absolutely had to. Thanks again for watching this video. I have three more custom waterfall charts to review. They are Visual BI, Zebra, and Zoom charts. So look forward for those reviews to come out in the near future. Thanks again for stopping by, and I'm looking forward to seeing you back very soon. Thanks, bye.